Hey Libra, it's Tuesday. Let's do your reading. Thank you for joining me. This is just pre-shuffle, so we're going to lay out a spread. But we've got the Ace of Cups. It looks like a new beginning in love after maybe planting roots. Um, in looks like not a fruitful place. This is like caged, feeling trapped maybe, or left, but unable to... Like, mm, Something that you maybe tried to plant roots in. Didn't work. There's new love coming, but it also has a lot to do with transformation and being free. Rather than, I think, stuck. And kind of feeling maybe alone. You know, it's like that feeling of being alone, even though you're in a crowd, something like that. Like maybe you weren't alone, but you felt alone. But there's something good coming. New love. Coming in fast and passionate. You might meet this person through a friend. Could be somebody that you are already friends with. Six of Cups. Ooh, could be a childhood. Somebody from the past. There's fond memories. And there's longevity. Um... Something that's grown, grown and grown over time. A lot of green here, a lot of heart. Oof. What's next? The devil. Capricorn energy. The devil is, typically it's like a, um, a toxic tie or a, a Could be addiction, obsession, I don't know. Kind of feeling something going on with these two. Interesting. The Hermit. The Hermit is somebody who has to kind of not cut out the noise that goes out by themselves to just, do, you know, bond or connect with the elements of the earth and not be, you know, influenced by the voices in your head or the outside, you know, all the voices that say you should, you shouldn't, ex expectations type stuff. I Okay, I was feeling Ten of Pentacles and um, Ten of Cups, so that's nice. Ten of Pentacles... So how you view the situation, you see something or someone is being very abundant or um, fruitful. Death. How others see the ability, the how others are outside influences, the ability to grow and blossom amongst difficulty or painful endings. These two together also could be some sort of um, inheritance or it's some, something ends, but there's also something beautiful developing. The star. Tarot's advice is to heal, um, not give up hope. The star card is Aquarius energy. It's beautiful. It's look, I mean, there's a fairy there. Looks like a temple, but it's all about hope and healing. So there's a strong element of, oh, did I have the death? We didn't even have the death card. Where did I get the death card? Oh, oh gosh, I'm losing it. The death card, this card is like almost like an ace of cups as well, because, or an ace of pentacles, because it's like growth, even within a death. Something really painful, but sparked a new, sparked some sort of healing or put an ending to something. 
Eight of Swords. Okay, I started to do your reading a minute ago, and I, okay, this was showing up earlier. Seven of Cups, options. I started to do your reading a minute ago and turn, had to turn off the camera because I got interrupted, but the, that reading, it was all about breaking free and away from something that's kind of stifling. So it might have to do with that devil card. Looks like somebody's watching. Or if you take a closer look at something, it might appear differently. I'm going to get some clarifiers. Two kings of wands, feminine and a masculine energy. Passion. Some kind of new passion is getting um, sparked. Seven of Wands, there, I said it, remember, I just said it, breaking free. Breaking free out of something that was stifling. Passionate new beginning. You're getting out of something that felt like suffocating into something new. And I, I got to explore those two cards. Page of Pentacles. That's good news. And it's something that can grow, something that can be stable. Okay, this is this boring? Kind of feels a little boring to me, but <laughs> um, I want to see what's going on here. So, in the recent past, you have thoughts of the past. You maybe had a return, or you're thinking about a return. This is somebody that you've either ha probably somebody from the past, but it's unexpected. And it's either from, it's, it involves a friend group, but this is something that's grown over time. Okay, so let's start clarifying some of these. This person might feel like you played with their heart, or they played with your heart. Oh, goodness. Didn't we have King of Cups? We've got... Um, Queen of Cups was turned backwards. So there's a lot of love here. Tell me about this devil card. Thank you. Oh my gosh. This literally was trying to grab my attention. So the Ace of Swords, that's, that's a victory after a battle. There, It might be a releasing, a, okay, you're releasing something that really bogged you down. And it was possibly an, an addiction or unhealthy obsession or habit but victory after battle ace of swords clarity truth clarity is the key oh okay in the reading that i had to restart um there was a lot of energy about speaking your truth and being honest with the situation instead of pacifying it's like, instead of just trying to keep the peace, it was, there was a lot of growth and um, freedom came from speaking your truth. So you got a passionate new beginning and clarity. I'm also getting like the sky's the limit. Yeah, so see, it does look like there's a painful ending here. And I wonder if you've been supporting someone, somebody, something that's going to be really um, beneficial financially for to end. I don't think that's your main focus, though. But I feel like that's in here somewhere. So we've got a major cycle ending and a new beginning. A better world. The sky's the limit. Queen of Cups again. Tell me about... So in the outcome, the Eight of Swords, which, you know, this is Eight of Swords is about overthinking and being trapped by thoughts. But if you look at it in this deck, that cage is open. These wings are spreading, so this angel, just you, just needs to look up and get out of that cage. So something's being, you're being freed of something, a dark shadow. There might be a Leo involved here. 
also feeling emperor. Do we have emperor? The moon. Or is it just said dark shadow? You're getting out of that. Why do I feel emperor? Yeah, you're moving away from it. It's something that's been shadowing. Still not getting totally this. Okay, something that you've just struggled with and, and maybe could wow, shadow. There's been something that you haven't been honest. Uh, there's been a situation that you haven't wanted to face the truth or be honest or to tell your, you know, be true to yourself with being clear communication that's been kind of putting a shadow on you. Holding you back. But you got major love coming, babes. Somebody that gives. You got love and abundance. And somebody is going to be left behind. But I think, okay, so whoever's going to hurt the, someone else, that person is going to be better off also. They're going to be better off. Uh, whoever is staying with someone because of guilt or money, it's not a good situation for them either. They're not reaching their full potential either. So that could be a car, uh, somebody that you're somebody is with. I don't know. Let's look at oracles. You got new. You're breaking free and you're going to be rewarded by being truthful. Big time new. Um, the world card here. Yes, exactly. Heart to heart conversations. You're going to have to be honest with someone even if it's not what they want to hear. And I think it's going to be... <gasps> Damn, I'm good. <laughs> wow. Totally sums it up. Uh, you need to be honest. Just honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So you got new love, but you're going to have to break free of something. Breaking free for new love. It could be cross-watcher energy, but that's the reading. It's super strong. Let me read this because these... These romance angels, these cards don't do them justice when you actually, I stopped using them because they just seem cheesy, but when you actually read what it says, it's so good. Let's see. So it says, the romance angels have sent you this card like a Valentine greeting, signaling the introduction. So maybe it's coming around Valentine's Day, or maybe you're going to have a Valentine. Um... Signaling the introduction of someone new into your love life. Perhaps you've recently met this person and your interest was piqued. This card validates that your connection was mutual and real. It is safe for you to explore it and the romance angels will guide your actions accordingly. Somebody might have to tell someone else that they have feelings for someone else. But again, it's something that's been avoided, but it's going to be a better situation, I believe, for all, all involved. Of course, if you're already in a committed relationship, you'll want to consult your angels and perhaps a counselor or other trusted person to get insight into your feelings. While running into the arms of a suitor may sound passionate, we did have a lot of passion here, the reality of guilt over the, an affair will soon weigh heavily upon you. It's better to, oh, so this is like saying, be honest about feelings for someone else. So maybe this is your person. It's better to confront the issues within your present relationship that left your emotional doors open for someone else. This card also means that you'll soon meet a new person. In these cases, the romance angels are asking you to keep the faith that love is in your cards. You deserve love and you are lovable. The angels guide you to be aware as you never know when your partner will arrive. I think it's somebody that you're going to meet through friends or somebody that um, has like maybe from your past, but you're definitely going to have options. This is saying, be, you know, somebody has been stuck and tied into an unfulfilling relationship and they're breaking free and, and being rewarded. And if you've already met this someone and you're feeling, you know, like torn or tempted to pursue it or go with it before you tell that someone else, somebody needs to be honest with the other, the, the other person, um, and then be, they'll, this new love comes or return from the past or whatever. But I love it. Beautiful. Yay. You guys let me know. Let me do a, um, let me do a, a, give you guys an assignment with my new deck. Love this deck. It's called High Vibe and it gives us processes to do. So here's your assignment. 
please. Whoops. Okay. The more you resist the current of change, the harder the current pushes. If you hold on to the grass on the side of the river, not wanting to move, you will be battered by the strong current. If you float in the middle of the river, the river is gentle and you float easily downstream. Aim for the path of least resistance right now. Go with the flow. Don't fight things that you know you're supposed to be, you know, doing or feeling. Let it flow. Um, it's like that whole, you know, if a thought comes through and you're meditating. Oh my gosh. If a thought comes through and you're meditating, instead of fighting it and trying to push it away, you just let it kind of flow through you or past you. Drink more water. Proper hydration calms your body. It also increases your intuition. FYI, if you guys are drinking, you know, purified water, um, then it's probably lacking minerals. So you might want to, I'm not a doctor, so you got to do your homework, but there are minerals in, you know, um, pink salt or uh, sea salt that it's often helpful depending, I mean, everybody's different. So this could not be good for some people, but for most people, you know, sprinkling a dab of sea salt into a glass of water is going to be very beneficial in delivering um, minerals that you could be lacking, okay? Um, yeah, love you. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye, Libra.